think of my new string swing? Pretty sweet, huh? Link down in the description if you want to grab one. I want to use my new string swing to display what I believe are the five most important guitars that any guitar player needs. And this isn't me saying you have to own five guitars to be a great guitar player. This is more about depending on your goals and you know what you want to be as a guitar player, these are the types of guitars that may deliver a certain result for you. So depending on what genres you like to play or maybe career aspirations or whether guitar is just a hobby for you, I'm gonna give you my recommendation for different styles of guitars, anywhere from brand to body type to pickup selection to ergonomics to you know what it looks like. Uh, this is gonna be my recommendations from my personal collection of guitars and hopefully it gives you some thoughts if you're mulling over maybe getting a new guitar or upgrading your current one. You don't need more than one guitar to be an amazing player, but if you can afford more or have the means to get another one, don't we all just need one more? So the first guitar I'm gonna tell you about is aimed towards sort of a jack of all trades guitar player. You're not necessarily trying to classify yourself into one tunnel vision genre or anything like that, you just kind of want a guitar that does it all. Well, I have the exact guitar that you need. This is the PRS Custom 24 S2. I think these range in the $1,000 to $1,200 range, and this is the ultimate guitar for versatility. It has a coil splitting ability, so you can get a sort of single coily sound without any of that hum. It also gives you the versatility of having humbuckers for heavier sounds, and the way it plays, I really can't tell the difference between my S2 and my core PRS guitars sometimes. That's how well this thing plays. It's perfectly ergonomic and nice and light, but packs a punch. The pickups are actually my favorite part of this guitar, uh, aside from the neck, of course, which I think is the most important part of any guitar, how the neck feels. Uh, but the sonic range that you have access to with these pickups is second to none when it comes to versatility. I can play metal, I can play jazz, I can play country, I can play rock, I can play fusion, I can play reggae, all on this guitar. So if you're looking for a guitar in the sort of mid-price range that will do everything for you, the S2s from PRS. Look no further. Up next on my recommendation list, the Dan Electro 84. Kind of a sleeper pick, I know, but this was actually the most commented on positively in the Stratocaster shootout video that I made between a Fender Strat, uh, this guitar, and a PRS John Mayer Silver Sky. So really, this thing for the value, I think it's only like four or $500. Uh, you really can't go wrong. It has lipstick pickups. The thing about the Dan Electro guitars, I have two of them, and they just give you a very old vintage feel. So if you're sort of a classic rocker, or maybe just looking for something that is very even keeled, the quality gap between a guitar like this and maybe a guitar that costs $500 more uh, with a different brand, is not really that large. The gap is very small, so I would definitely recommend this for maybe somebody who's looking to upgrade from their very, very beginner guitar to a sort of next level intermediate guitar. Or if you're a pro and you just want a sweet vintage sound with lipstick pickups, uh, with the Strat playability, obviously the ergonomic S type of the guitar is classic and timeless for the price. This is what I would recommend for a guitar like 500 bucks or less. Plus look at that color. That's real nice. The next guitar I have to recommend is this. The JP15 from Music Man. This is John Petrucci's signature seven string model, but it also comes in a six string. So I am going to be talking uh, about the six and seven string. This model of the guitar is what I am talking about regarding a rock machine. If you have any aspirations to be a sort of shredder or you know want to be some sort of virtuosic guitar player, this is the ultimate guitar. John Petrucci, I think, is maybe the best guitar player in the world, so why wouldn't you want the best guitar player in the world's guitar? Uh, the roasted neck is really what does it for me with this guitar. The playability is just so fluid, and like I mentioned, the versatility of seven or six strings, you can sort of go in different directions regarding that. The electronics are really another thing that stand out with this guitar. 
It has a boost, so you can get an extra boost. It also has a piezo system installed where you can actually split either between only piezo, only the pickups, humbucking pickups, or you can blend between the piezo and the pickups. So you can get some massive, massive sounds with this guitar. It has stereo uh, output jacks if you want to have piezo in one amp, humbucker in the other. Did I mention how just smoothly this plays? It's just a buttery, buttery feel. And of course, the Koa top here. <sighs> just magical. This is not an inexpensive guitar, obviously, so this is certainly an investment, but if you make an investment like this, you're never gonna need another guitar again, that's for sure. Unless, you know, you do. Next recommendation I have for you guys is this. A Fender Stratocaster. If you're a sucker for history and iconic instruments like I am, you have to have a Strat. Now there's two schools of thought when it comes to Fenders. Telly, or Strat. I am a Strat guy, all my favorite guitar heroes have played Strats, and well, this thing can do Tele stuff. If you have the right pickup selection, I have Planet Tone pickups, I also have Texas Special pickups that I can swap out if I want to, but the Strat sound is just timeless. I think I've already used that word in this video to describe something else, but the sound of a Strat is unmistakable. For those who don't play guitar, this is probably the shape that they think of when they think of a, a guitar. Uh, as far as the logistics of this particular guitar, this is an American Special Strat. And the reason I particularly enjoy this guitar is because of the satin finish. Uh, I never get fingerprints on it, and I do enjoy a nice maple neck on a Strat. This is something that if I ever own another Strat, it will be a maple neck. I think maple's a little bit brighter sounding and I have jumbo frets on these and I like the big fat 70s style headstock on the American Special. It's just really the quintessential guitar. I think I went into a guitar center to buy strings and I picked this guitar up and played it for like five minutes and bought it. It's the only time that's really ever happened to me. So I would definitely recommend a Strat for any level guitar player past the very beginning stages, you have to own a Strat, come on. Strat's just like the PRS Custom 24 S2. This is an extremely versatile guitar. You can put in humbuckers as opposed to sim single coils if you want to. You can really customize your sound with a Strat depending on the pickup selection, so you don't have to go with an American Special. This one was actually under $1,000. You can find nice Strats for under a grand, and like I said, it's just kind of, the quintessential guitar, isn't it? All right, the fifth and final guitar I'm gonna recommend for guitar players to own in their arsenal. It's this lovely little specimen. Yes, I'm probably biased, but I honestly think this is the ultimate guitar, a PRS SC245. It takes all the best parts of a Les Paul and infuses them with all the best things that are PRS guitars. So really you could insert Gibson Les Paul here if you're more of a Les Paul person, but I think PRS guitars are just the most versatile. It comes back to versatility for me and playability. This guitar has been the most dependable instrument for almost 10 years now I've had it. And I think the best thing for me is the customization that Phil did, um, Know Your Gear Phil, and he added some coil splitting abilities and I have in here 5708 pickup and a 5909 pickup for maximum tonal range. Uh, what it comes down to with a core PRS guitar is it's truly an investment in the future. This guitar is not going to go down in value, it's gonna go up in value. It's going to be an heirloom that you pass down generation to generation. And can we talk about the looks? I mean, this thing's perfect, it's a 10 top which means a very special part of the tree uh, is where this top came from. And really what does it for me on PRS guitars, the neck. That is really what it comes down to. It just feels like home. So if you're a guitar player looking to play jazz, metal, blues, or any other genre in between, this guitar really, really does it all. It has the fat, thick rock and roll sound of a Les Paul if you go up to the neck and it can get really angry and bitey down on the bridge and then in between you throw in a coil split and it really does it all. Again, not a cheap guitar, but a guitar that will 
never lets you down. Really the main point here is a core PRS, I think is the ultimate guitar. Uh, I have several core PRS guitars and this is by far my favorite one, but there are different options. Really, any of the guitars that I've shown you today are excellent options. I play all of them all the time, you guys see them. Uh, this is my go-to axe, but really, guitar is good and you can never have too many. All you need is one, but it never ends that way, does it? Well, there you have it, guys. Five guitars from middle of the road price range all the way up to an extreme price range. I think those are my recommendations for now. Maybe I'll do an updated video or maybe an acoustic version of this video. If you guys like it, leave your comments down below of your recommendations of your favorite guitars and what guitars go well with what type of players. Really, my favorite guitar players can sound like themselves on any instrument, so a guitar is not gonna make you a better player, but it will make you pick up the guitar more often if you like what you're seeing over there in the corner on the guitar stand, am I right? No matter how many guitars you have, though, you can always display them with pride with a nice string swing. And if you don't have five guitars, maybe you just have one guitar, just get an individual string swing holder and display your guitar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, keep shredding.